and the peaceful process parties. The deal is considered as a historical move anticipated to realize comprehensive peace and press ahead with the transitional period assignment, according to the Council. Members of the Council praised the remarkable role played by South Sudan State in mediation between the government and struggle movements negotiations. Foreign Minister the designate Omar Gamereddin received at his office the newly appointed Ambassador of Norway to Sudan, Theresa Lukin. The diplomat extended her credentials to the minister. Gamereddin commended Norway cooperation with Sudan at international multilateral arena. He further asserted significance of launching partnerships in economy, health, security and education areas, accelerated alleviations of Sudan from the list of countries harboring terrorism was touched on. Ministry of Industry and Trade held a preparatory meeting to launch joint talks in the relevant domain with South Sudan State. Headed by the Ministry Undersecretary, the meeting is aimed to prepare for the tasks of the Joint Ministerial Committee. The official said in a press statement the prospected talks endeavor to enhance bilateral relations with the sisterly state of Southern Sudan. Reinforced peace in both nations tops the meeting's agenda. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdo confirmed the tangible role played by the agricultural sector in achieving economic development in the country. He pointed out to the government keenness on developing the said sector to ensure food security at domestic and regional levels. This came in a meeting presided over by the Prime Minister. The meeting vows to make the agricultural season a success. Funding and agricultural inputs were focused on, Minister of Agriculture Abdul Ghadir Tirkawi revealed. Headed by presidential advisor Tut Galwak, the South Sudan mediation delegation arrived in Khartoum today. The delegation was received by member of the Transitional Council, Lieutenant General Shamsuddin al Kabashi. Dr. Dio Matok said in a press statement the delegation conveyed the message from President of South Sudan State, Silfakir Mirdet, to Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al Burhan, inviting him to attend the ceremony of signing the final peace accord due on the 3rd of October in Juba. Naga is an archaeological site posing a tourist destination. This characteristic is attributable to its historical value, whereas it's located in an area swarming valleys in Nahranil state. Dated 350 BC, Naga archaeological site represents an urban settlement compound to south of Merawi. The site involves a residential town and a number of tumbles together with graves of Merawitic era kings. The ruins won global attention by archaeologists and excavations were initiated in 1995. And now we remind you with the headlines. Foreign Minister meets with Norway Ambassador to Khartoum, shedding light on joint cooperation. Remarkable efforts to make agricultural season a success. Delegation of South Sudan State mediating in peace process arrives in Khartoum. Well, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following us. See you tomorrow.